the big race of the week is next, the Coral Eclipse Group 1, and the, one of those rare occasions where the S07 world is in sync with the real world, because it was the real Eclipse this week, wasn't it? Ozzy Anishan at the top for Dan Hughes, Catch Me White Boy, Derek Hinton, Foreman, David Robertson, Lambs Bear, Dan Hughes, Pathmaster, Joshua Sutherland, Devil's Lake Tantrum, Vinnie Gerard, Fake Papers, Leon Van Rensburg, Humid Rarity, Darren Thompson, Organised State, Leon Van Rensburg, Patterson's Return, James Shea, Take the High Ground, Jim Murray, Trumpet Coup, James Shea, Show Me Something, Joshua Sutherland, and Silver Tongue, Jim Murray, 14 of the men, 10 furlongs, 3 rounds against the old horses, they're away and racing. And who's going to be the one to take them along? It looks like it's going to be Pathmaster down on this near side for Joshua Sutherland that's going to get into the lead. As expected, the two James Shea horses are held up at the back and they'll be delivered late, but it's Pathmaster who's got the lead. And that's quickly opened up by four lengths or so to Lambs Bear, who's just about showing in second. Organised State, first of the Leon Van Rensburg horses, his third. Some of them are staying quite wide on the track, and a line of about 10 or 12 of them disputing third. And you'd have thought the jockeys have had the gumption to have taken a bit of a tug and cut in, wouldn't Because they? they're going to give up a lot of ground on the turn. This was the course of the race, I don't know, about six or seven seasons ago that caused a great uproar when there was lots of talk about horses not being allowed to run in group ones because they were getting in the way and big horses, general chances were getting boxed in and forced wide and all sorts of stuff. It seemed to have been too much of a problem in the last few seasons, but it's Pathmaster who's got the lead from Fake Papers in second, Foreman is in third, then Organised State down on this near side, Humid Rarity is after that, take the high ground next in, Lambs Bear, Patterson's return is going to try and creep up the inside, that could be a tricky route to take with the way that one finishes, looking to the back, Ozzy Anshan is the back marker, but they've got little over three furlongs to go in the eclipse and it's Pathmaster who's in the lead then from fake papers lambs bear an organized state take the high ground now coming in with a run around the outside also trying to get into it is humid rarity the gray trying to run on his devil lake tantrum but Pathmaster's the one they've got to get to Patterson's returns got a clear run lambs bears in third Pathmaster's the leader though from take the high ground third and a half to go Patterson's return in third lambs bear four here comes trumpet go on the outside with devil's lake tantrum but it's still Pathmaster who's got the lead, Pathmaster in front, Patterson's return though, now coming through in a challenge, Pathmaster with the lead, here comes Patterson's return and Trumpet Q, and they've done it again, it's Patterson's return for us, Trumpet Q second, Pathmaster third, 4-1-4, four, four. and then Silver Tour, Ozzy Anshan didn't get anywhere at all today, and they almost run like a, I don't know what, they're sort of like a tandem aren't they or something, those two, Patterson's return and Trumpet Q sometimes, is it Niggle Harriet, another one that gets thrown in there as well? But those James Shea horses, they just sweep through. And the four-year-old Patterson's return just managing to beat the three-year-old Trumpet Coup for James Shea. So everybody's got to worry next season, haven't they? If that's, if that's what his three-year-old's doing this year, well, it should be probably as good as Patterson's return next year. So it'll all be touring in his wake again. Pathmaster third for Joshua Sutherland, Foreman fourth for David Robertson, and organised state for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth.